Well, what it is is when you have the same base, okay, in an equation like this, you can set the exponents equal to one another. So if a to the x equals a to the y, then x must equal y. So a very simple example would be if you had 10 to the x equals 10 squared, the only way that this left side could equal this right side, given that the bases are the same, is that the exponents also have to be the same, so x would equal two. Now that's a simple example, let's do a few more challenging ones. So let's take like a letter A here, three to the x equals 81. So the first thing we wanna do is see if we can get these bases to be the same. So what you'll recognize is that 81 is really three to the fourth. So we have three to the x equals 81, which is three to the fourth. Now we can see that we have the same base, we can set the exponents equal, x equals four. Let's look at another example. Here we have two to the x minus two equals 1 16th. Now what you wanna recognize is that 1 16th is actually two to the negative fourth power. Okay, why two to the negative fourth power? Well, two to the fourth is two times two times two times two, four times, that's 16, but the negative exponent tells us to take the reciprocal. Okay, so now we have the same base, we can set the powers equal, and you can see that x minus two equals negative four, add two to both sides, and you can see x equals negative two. Now if you wanna check your answer, just go ahead and take that negative two, put it back in here, and you get two to the negative four, which again, gives us 1 16th. Let's do another example. e to the x squared equals e to the fourth. This one's pretty much set up for us. You can see we have the same base. Now all we have to do is set the powers or the exponents equal, take the square root of both sides, but don't forget when you take the square root of both sides, how many answers do you get? Two answers, plus or minus two. And then the last example, 16 to the x equals two. What you might recognize here is that they both have uh, two in common. Okay, base two, 16 to the x is actually two to the fourth all raised to the x equals two to the first. If you don't see the exponent, that means this is a one. And then now when you have a power to power, you multiply those exponents, so it's two to the four x equals two to the first. Now you can see that if we set the uh, exponents equal to each other, four x equals one, divide both sides by four, and you can see that x is going to be one fourth. So this concludes uh, this video about how to work with a one to one property uh, with exponents. Subscribe to the channel, check out more math videos on Mario's Math Tutor and YouTube channel, and I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.